some old Salter parcel scales. Now I'm just going to do a bit of a job on these, not a full restoration, but just do them up a little bit. As you can see, rusty on the top there, and the rest of it, just the paint's flaking off, it's, uh, all the aluminium's oxidised. It's just, uh, you know, paint just coming off all over the place. Um, so what we're going to do, we're just going to do them so they're sort of a usable, you know, it's completely enough everywhere. Just going to be use, you know, make them so they're usable and just repaint them, get rid of all this oxidisation so you're not getting it you know, all of your hands like that. Um, so just use them as a nice scale. So it's not going to be a full restoration, but just a, a nice job just to clean them up so we can at least uh, at least keep them and use them. So what we're going to do first is uh, strip it down a little bit. So first of all, take the screws out the top, keep them safe over there. easy so you see that's what it should be like and that's what it is like next thing is to, to strip it down we're, not, we're probably not even going to take it down completely but i'll just show you that uh, the other one is now we've got to get the, the needle off and then the, the face we can take with the two screws there and that'll give us all the, the gubbins inside all the workings um i've seen a few people do these and they tend to attack this with a like a dremel or something to grind it off um what they actually are, they're like a tapered square pin, and that's just a push fit on onto it. Um, obviously, over the years it's gone tighter and tighter. So what I've actually done, I'll just get it out of me, me drawer. Everything else goes with it. Um, I've made, I've made this um, just a quick out of a bit of scrap metal. You can see it's really rough, but it's uh, it should hopefully do the job. Um, it's a little puller. I didn't even have a long enough bolt, so I've actually had to put two bolts together so all I've done I've just turned the end off um, off, off the ends we push in and you'll just see how it so hopefully you can see it on camera if this is actually going to work so this just slides over the needle and goes in behind it like that and then this bolt goes in there like this and I have my allen keys ready as well which I've not job everything's reasonably to hand yeah it's just, just a bit of scrap metal I had knocking about just drilled it and tapped it in the top so it just sits in behind there like I said if I had a long enough pull it would have been a lot easier than messing with two and that was turned at the end just so it goes onto the centre pip just like so It's just a case then of once we get it lined up, you're just winding it in so it actually pulls. Like I said, where should I got all the bolts for? Nothing in stock at the moment. There we go, that's located. So, there, now you can see that how it's working. That's what will happen now as we tighten that. It push the centre which actually pulls the outside and it should just pop off. There you go, a little crack and there it comes. Simple as that. There you go. That's as you can see, it's just a little square tape of pin. That's how it goes on. So that's the needle off. Next job, the two screws at the front. We shall take the dial off. Curve with those as little like nylon washer. These are designed to come off like this. So as you can see on the prices, 56p. Send a local parcel. Don't think so. Um, not anymore. But these were made so you can so they come interchanged. The price has changed. So I'm going to keep that safe. And there you go. There's all your, your workings inside your mechanism. Um, like I said, I don't, even, I don't even think we're going to go that far. I think we'll just take off this front. Oops. 
just like that. This should just come. There it goes. That's just come apart. You know, you can see even on the back of this, all the paint's flaking off it. You can hear it under my hands, just so you know, I'll get rid of most of this lot. Give it a repaint. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Just some big pieces coming off everywhere. So yeah, that's that off. And guess it's to that point. So I'm not really I'm not too sure whether to carry on and completely take it apart because it does work. Uh, give it a quick check before it's quite accurate. Um I think we'll just give it a the outside a good going over, get rid of all this lot. Um and probably paint it from there and probably leave the inside because once that's put back on you're never going to see that anyway so why why you know, if it ain't broke why fix it so yeah i think we'll uh we'll just get that stripped down so we'll, we'll come back to this in a bit strip it down uh we just probably use different you know some uh, paint stripper um, if you're using paint stripper please be careful Cam you know it's really volatile uh, volatile very um irritating chemical it'll burn your hands um, so please wear some gloves and definitely some eye protection. So yeah, we'll probably get some of that on there, get it cleaned off, get a bit of wet and dry, get rid of this oxidation, um, ready for painting. So we might show you a bit of that process, but if not, we'll, we'll show you ready for painting and putting it back together. As if by magic, they've been stripped. I must admit I cheated a little bit on these. Um, I volunteered my dad to do them, so he's uh, he's kindly stripped them for me. If you're seeing some uh, nitro moss or similar, I say it's a very corrosive chemical, so please wear gloves and eye protection. Um, just put it on, leave it to soak, crinkles up and scrape it off, and then you basically just wash it off with clean cold water. Uh, then all we've done then, you've just got to sell some wet and dry, and just rubbed all over, just get a bit of a key, and then a bit of pan of white, wiped it down, so we're just ready to, ready to go. Like I said, We've left the mechanism in and like the inside. It's just basically just to stop that oxidization, getting all over everything, just so the usable scales, they don't have to be anything posh. Uh, it's just so it gives an idea when we're when we're posting anything, what sort of weight they are. So the next step is a bit of etch primer. Um you can get that anywhere, care stores, online, anything like that. Um and what I've done, just put a piece of wire on the bottom. I've just got a series of, of nails and I'll do once it's it's sprayed, I can lang it up, leave it to dry, and then I'm done with the next coat. So, we'll, we'll show you just doing a bit of spray now with the first coat. I've already shoot this quite a bit, but you should always make sure it's shook for at least two minutes, mix everything up inside. <clears throat> One little tip I'll give you when you're using the primers on anything basically. Don't try and give it a solid coating on it. Um, a thin dusting, let it sort of grab hold, and then as it's not quite dry, then when you give it your second coat, it works more effectively. It gets all the metal better. And then I see a lot of people they sort of spray and they try and get it. Oh, let's get it grey and one it, and it looks fantastic at first, but you find it tends to flake off. It doesn't dry properly. It's still soft. Uh, this way it'll dry hard. Uh, it'll dry actually quicker and you'll actually do a quicker job if you, if you are going for speed uh, but yeah just a very light dusting don't matter if you don't hit it all first time and your second time and your third time that's when you'll pick up the colour tell you what is handy which I've not actually got here I have an old record turntable which I use because you can just basically turn the thing round without having to touch it make sure you get all your under bits Careful your mechanism Turn it up and just spray this last little bit while oh, it's hung on the wire. Yeah, 
safe. Trust me, this turntable is a brilliant little safe so trying to do this with a piece of wire. Right, that's basically all it needs for the first coat. It's just so it grabs old. You can see it, you know, it's a bit patchy, a lot of work. And like I said, we'll give it its next coat in a few minutes, and that's dried off. So we'll stang that one up. We'll get the next one, so that's come up pretty well. So the same with that, spray that one. And finally, that's come up quite well. You can see you know, it's a bit pitted, um, but we'll, we're happy with that. We'll, we'll just get a spray, that's it's more of a usable thing. So I'll show you the next coat's going on. Uh, we'll go from there. There we go, all primed up. Get a couple of coats. Um, what you gotta do now is just a light sanding. As with the spraying, please wear a face mask. Um, with spraying well ventilated area, I must stress that, and also a face mask. And when you're doing any sanding, you know, it's advisable to wear a face mask, just a dust mask, uh, keep the dust out. So, all we do now is just a very light, just some little circular motions. It's just basically, if you feel after you spray it's rough, this light sanding will just give you a better finish on your top coat. So basically, just do that, just all over, you'll feel a lot smoother. Just do that all over on all your parts. Now it is all rubbed down, uh, it's very light sanding. Um, and also cleaned it with some panel wipes to take the dust off. Now what colour? Well, I was thinking silver would be nice. But I've no silver in stock. And like I said, it's not really that that you know, that fussy. Uh, so we thought we'd go for a bit of satin black because I have some of that. <laughs> I think it'll look nicer satin black with the white dial on the front. So uh, yeah, we'll give it a coat to that. So again, good shake up. Again, well ventilated. And obviously wearing your mask as well. So we'll give this a, a quick spray, and then we'll show you the the rebuild and the final. Result. Again, doesn't have to be all black on the first coat. You have to build it up with a, several thinner coats than one thick one. Finish this off and uh, we'll get back to you when we rebuild it. There we go. Just a couple of coats of black satin. Looks alright. I said it might look better silver, but uh, maybe next time when we get some more in stock, so put it back together now. Just simply reversal. Right, so you just put a little drop of oil and all the sort of moving parts just on the little pivot points, everything in there. Clips back in. Quite a simple process to put back together. These don't need anything like thread lock or anything on these. Just nip them up. that one's in line before you tighten the other one so at least you've got some movement if you need it. Back on. Your little screws, like I said before, with your little nylon washer. Just lined it up with your zero, so little pip at the top there, so line it up, make sure you're all central right in there. Get this 
nip them up. I actually like that black nail that face as well. I'll just show you in a second. I'm having a good choice that. Yeah, stands out quite well. The white and the black, which is quite classy. Now this thing goes back on your needle. Don't forget you your screw on the side, this is for your zeroing screw. Play a few turns. This just pushes back on. And a little pop with a small hammer. <laughs> Doesn't need a lot. It's basically that's it. That's all it needs. And then we've got his ear and screw. It's working fine. And the top plate back on. We have parcels go. Just touch these screws to be honest with a bit of black paint. See how it looks when it's done, it might be okay as they are. quite good. White and the black I mean. Neatly agree, looks quite quite striking. So that's it, just simple quick restoration. Nothing fancy. Um just wanted it so I've got all scales I can use. I'm not gonna get covered in white powder anymore. And yeah, nice classy looking scale so job done. So thanks for watching YouTubers. If you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel and liking, that'd be fantastic. Until next time, YouTubers, it'll be great.